Hello everyone, this is Blender Guppy. In this video, I'll be discussing the data transfer submenu and its operators. The main purpose of these operators is to deal with the data transfer feature in Blender, which allows you to copy the normals of a mesh surface to another mesh to fix shading errors that may arise in cases like Boolean operations on curved surfaces. First, we have the Remove Data Transfer Operator, which basically just removes the data transfer modifier used by the object. This data transfer modifier is typically assigned by the normal data original, normal data faces, and normal data active operators in the submenu. Once the modifier is gone, you can see the shading distortions around the Boolean object. Before we go to the next operator, for the data transfer trick to really work, especially with Boolean, you must use the micro bevel operator on the target object using the data transfer modifier. This will create new faces on the area of interest that will fix shading transitions. Both the target and Boolean meshes also needs to be auto smooth. Next, we have the normal data original operator. This creates a duplicate of the active object and saves it in Blender memory to avoid clutter in the viewport. This duplicate object will then be used as the data transfer source mesh or where the normals will be copied from to the active object. This method relies upon creating the data transfer source mesh first before using any Boolean operations. The normal data original operator also has a small trick to trim the faces used from the data transfer source mesh. If we preview the data transfer mesh used by the active object, we can see that it is using all of the faces in the mesh. However, if we press the control hat key then click on the normal data original button, this will delete the faces in the source mesh or data transfer object and keep only the ones in the areas where it is affected by Boolean objects. The normal data faces operator allows you to extract faces to be used as the data transfer source mesh. This is using the same functionalities as the extract faces operator, so watch that instead for their extended explanation. Again, we must create the source mesh first before using any Boolean, and in this case, we extract the faces first. In the second phase of the operation is where you can also set the symmetry for the data transfer source mesh. After confirming both faces, the extract faces are added to the scene as another object and then saved to memory. You can also control click on the normal data faces button to add to the current data transfer faces used by the active object instead of creating a new one. This method can only add faces and not remove from the currently used data transfer source mesh. This is also a great way of fixing shading distortions that has become visible in border areas after trimming. Simply add a few faces to the border and this will fix the shading error. Next, we have the normal data active operator. This is the only data transfer operator which does not create a saved copy of the source mesh. It uses selection to determine the target object and the source mesh for data transfer. The first object selected will be the target mesh and the second object or the active object will be the source mesh. This is a great way of fixing shading errors for shrink wrapped objects on low poly curved surfaces. If the shading errors are not fixed outright, you can go to the data transfer modifier in the target object and modify the ray radius in topology mapping until the shading errors are gone. Then we have the preview DT object operator. This basically lets you see the topology of the data transfer source mesh the active object is using particularly if it was added using normal data original or faces operator. Finally, we have the clear saved data transfer objects. This will remove the saved data transfer source meshes in Blender memory for good. In the bottom part of the viewport, in the info lag, you can see how many of them were deleted. It will not, however, delete any saved meshes that are currently being used in a data transfer modifier.
And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to use the comment section and the links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.